Hark now to the minstrel's song. I'll sing to you a while. So gather round the TV set and do not touch that dial. No, toucheth not that dial. Muppets Incorporated invites you to watch the pilot production of its new series, Tales of the Tinker D. I tell a tale of Tinker D, of legendary fame, and of its noble nutty king. Gosh Posh is his name. King Gosh Posh is his name. Look at here, minstrel. Your Majesty. I expect you to be at that birthday party tomorrow night singing up a storm. Yes, Your Highness. And I want to see you laughing and celebrating and having a good time. That's an order. The birthday that we celebrate by order of the king is that of his only daughter, a sweet and pure young thing. A sweet and pure young thing. May I present the lovely Princess Gwendolinda? Fair-haired beauty for whose love every knight in the kingdom would gladly risk his head. Charmed, I'm sure. I sincerely hope you'll see at my birthday party tomorrow, minstrel. It would be a pleasure, your loveliness. My goodness, yes, I should certainly think so. The invitations have been sent to everyone, poor or rich. The one person who didn't receive one was Tamanella Witch. Was Tamanella Witch. Me, Tamanella Grinderpaw, witchiest witch of them all, and I haven't been invited to the ball. Isn't that a kick in the old cauldron? Oh, Grunch. I'm glad you agree, Grunchy baby. Oh. Uh, that's my Grunchin down there. <laughs> I'd show him to you, but he's too horrible to look at. Uh, I'll describe him instead. Uh, let's see, he's, um, uh, yes. He's too horrible to describe, too. Grunch. Anyhow, uh, let me see. Uh, here we go. Have some lunch, Grunch. Grunch. Oh, go ahead and eat it. You like kitchen chairs. Anyway, that's the last kitchen chair you're going to have to eat. It's the last kitchen chair I've got. He ate all the others. Seventy-five of them. This morning. Hey, look, Grunchy. I'll bring you a piece of birthday cake tomorrow. How would you like that? Good. Yeah. Or I will if I can just get to that birthday party. Maybe my invitation got lost in the mail. I'll drop the king a note and ask him about it. Charlie! Charlie, come in here! Come in, Miss Tammy, ma'am. I'd like you to meet Charlie the Ogre. Yes, ma'am? Charlie, take a letter. All right, I'll take W. No, you idiot! Ouch. I mean, take a letter to the king. I've got to remind him to invite me to his daughter's birthday party. Birthday party? It's the biggest social event of the season. All the neighboring royalty come. And they bring presents. Scads of jewel-encrusted goodies. And that's where we come in. That's where we come in? And where we come in and heist the goodies, Charlie. Oh, goody. But first, we've got to get an invitation. Can't we go without an invitation? Ouch. Where's your sense of etiquette, Charlie? Come on, let's start writing letters. Her evil scheme was underway, so letters she did write. But at the castle, things were in a very hectic plight. A very hectic plight. A party's tomorrow night and nothing's ready. Now, where's the royal maids to wax the ballroom floors? Where's the royal caterers with the royal food? And where's the royal decorators with the royal cotton pick and crate paper? Sire, sire, good news. The royal bakers have come with a birthday cake. Uh, just a second, I'll bring it in. Thank you, Prime Minister. Wait till you see this cake. 267 layers. It'll be the tallest cake in Tinker D. Oops. What do you mean, oops? Um, just oops, your grace. Don't oops at me, PM. I'm in no mood to be oops at. Now, let me see the cake. Sire, are you sure you said 267 layers? Certainly. The bakers thought you said 267 candles. That doesn't look like a birthday cake. It looks like a pastry porcupine. Now get it out of here and tell them to bake a proper one. But, Sire... Out! Minstrel, come in here. 
Your very wish is my command. Before the king I humbly stand. Have you finished your ballad to the lovely princess Gwendolinda? Fair-haired beauty for whose love every knight in the kingdom would gladly risk his head. Yeah, that one. Have you finished writing the ballad? I have cogitated, correlated, syncopated, and related, orchestrated, and created songs to please the king. Does that mean you finished? I have finished. Well, let's hear them. It is the princess' date of birth. Let bells ring out the news. We'll celebrate with joy and mirth in a party, I suppose. What was that last word? Suppose, your highness. Out! Out! Sire, sire, we just got a letter from Tamanella Grindelfall. Which is which? Of them all? Yes, uh, she says... Dear King, it has come to my attention that I have not been invited to your forthcoming party. This is an understandable oversight, since you are a cloth head. Ugh. Love, Tammy. If that old witch thinks I'm inviting her to my daughter's party, she's thinking up the wrong tree. I fully agree, sire. Your Majesty, a singing telegram was just delivered to the palace gates. Let's hear it. It goes. Dear King Gosh Posh, happy birthday to your daughter, happy birthday to your daughter, happy birthday, Princess Gwendolinda. Why haven't you invited me to your party? And it's signed? Tamanella Grinderfall, witchiest witch of them all. I thought so. Your Highness, look out the window. Now what, PM? Look up in the sky, a blimp. A blimp? A blimp. Invite Tammy, or else. Or else what, I wonder? Or else don't invite her, which is what I'm gonna do. She can't scare me, and she can't come to this birthday party, neither. And that's final. Now, where were we? So all night long the work goes on, the party to prepare. And in the morning, Tammy Witch has gotten no answer. I've gotten no answer. And we haven't heard from him either. Ouch. I can't understand it. I've written 42 letters, three telegrams, and a blimp. Do you suppose they got my message? Maybe they haven't opened their mail yet. Well, I'll soon find out. I've got a potion here that'll do the trick. <laughs> Just watch this. Yapen, hafen, ooliu. Zorkle, norkle, scooby-doo. Frammel cream, frammel cream. Pip with a gnip knop, Shazam! Smoke and mist and cauldron spewing. Let me see what the king is doing. Ha! There's the old coot now. And the funny looking fellow with the pointed hat is the prime minister. The gray paper is mostly up. The ice cream bunnies are due to arrive, and we just got nine more letters from Tamanella. They got my letters! Burn all those letters. I don't want to hear any more about that witch. What? Are you sure, Your Highness? The last few have been quite threatening. Perhaps they were a little harsh. She said she'd destroy the castle, burn the countryside, poison the rivers, and turn everybody purple. Well, I didn't really mean it. Well, she probably didn't really mean it. I did, too. Well, whether she did or didn't mean it, she's not coming to my daughter's party, and that's final. Over and out. The nerve of it. I'll fix him. Charlie! Yes, ma'am? Bring in the costume box. We're going to that party. But I thought you said... Never mind what I said. This is war. We're going to that party, and we're going to get those presents. Yes, ma'am. Now put the costume box down here, and let's see what we've got. Should be something in here worthwhile. It's evening at the palace gates. The moon shines bright and clear. The tower guard waits patiently for the first guests to appear. The guests will soon be here. You coming, Miss Tammy? In a minute. Let me fix my beard. You sure this is gonna work, ma'am? Of course it's going to work. Why shouldn't it work? Well, ma'am, you just don't hardly look like Santa Claus. Of course I look like Santa Claus. Ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Now shut up and straighten your antlers. Yes, Miss Tammy, ma'am. And don't call me Tammy. Call me Santa. Yes, Miss Santa, ma'am. Quiet! Ooh, 
lunch. Now, I'm going to ring the bell. This is part one of my plan. Part one. As soon as we get inside the gates, gates. you go around to the outside, outside and wait for me by the ballroom window. Window. I'm going inside the palace. The palace. Oops, uh, here comes the guard. Uh, prance a little, Charlie. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Ho, ho, ho. Otto, who goeth there and ring off at the castle gates? Santa Claus! I mean, Santa Claus! And his trusty reindeer, Tonto! That's Rudolph! Ouch! Oh, yeah! Santa Claus isn't due here till Christmas. And this is the middle of summer. Eh, well, I'm just uh, getting an early start on my Christmas list. You see, I'm making a list and checking it twice. Gonna find out who's naughty and nice. A Santa, Santa Claus, Claus is, is coming, coming to town. town. Very nicely done, Santa. Open the gates. Open the gates. All right, Charlie, here we go. Watch your step. And drop your head, clumsy. Help. I say, reindeer, you've got your antlers. Caught in the port Calais. Thanks. Charlie, get down from there. I'd love to. I say get down. Ouch. Ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. The party guests will soon be here to dance and sing and hum. The decorations are now up and the sandwiches have come. And come, and come, and come. 67,000 of them. What are we going to do with 67,000 peanut butter sandwiches? I only ordered 500. Well, uh, uh, we sent out 500 uh, orders by mistake. It's some slight mix-up in the purchasing department. Well, what are we going to do with all these sandwiches? Well, uh, if each guest ate... 84 of them. We'd only have a couple of thousand left over. Don't be ridiculous. We gotta get them out of sight. The guests will be arriving in a little while. Uh, it's true. Maybe we can stuff them in the storage closets. Uh, won't the guests be angry if we stuff them in the storage closets? Not the guest chowder. Head to sandwiches. Come on now, let's start checking for empty closets. Oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Tamanella's coming for the goodies. <laughs> so, this is the ballroom. Part one of my plan has gone like clockwork. <laughs> Psst! Charlie! Oh. Are you out there? Yes, Miss Santo. It's time for part two of my plan. Get the princess. Uh, you got your club, Charlie? Right here, ma'am. Good. Now, if you see the princess walk by this window, some mash Got that? Yes, ma'am. Some mash it is, ma'am. Uh, quick, somebody's coming. Uh, duck out of sight. Well, you can take about half of them down there. Now, let's check the east wing. There are plenty of closets there. Merry Christmas, Your Majesty. Merry Christmas to you, Santa Claus. Funny I don't remember inviting Santa Claus to the party. Oh, everyone is coming, Your Grace. Now, quickly, I'll duck into this storage closet and change into my next disguise. Santa Claus! That's funny. Daddy said Santa Claus was in here. Darn, Mr. Twice. Gotta practice up on my backstroke. <laughs> That's better. I'll get her next time. If we can find one more empty closet, we'll be able to get all those sandwiches out of sight. Luckily, I remember just one last closet. This should do it. Ah! Who's in there? Yeah. Princess Gwendolyn there. had beauty for whose love every night in the kingdom would gladly risk his hand. That's the one. I'm changing. Well, excuse me, daughter. I wonder why she's changing in the storage closet. Don't question the ways of royalty, PM. There. All finished. Don't I look lovely? Stunning, my dear. Doesn't she, PM? Uh, Doesn't she, PM? Oh, stunning, sire. She's a sight to behold. How sweet you both are. Well, if you'll excuse us, daughter, we're very busy. Oh, go right ahead. I've got a few things to do myself. Poor child, what with the strain of the party and all, she's not looking her usual self. <laughs> oh, 
Now the disguise worked perfectly. Everything so far is right on schedule. Oop! Here comes the princess. Well, we can't have two princesses. So, into my next disguise. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, a beautiful woman looks good in anything she puts on. <laughs> Even a prime minister's hat. Have you seen Santa Claus? Yeah, well, uh, yes! My goodness, I certainly have. Uh, he just went through this door. But this is just a storage. That takes care of her. Part two of my plan, mission accomplished. Now for part three. Charlie! Oh, Charlie! Oh, smasher only it is. I got the princess, Miss Tammy. Very good, did I? But I just took care of the princess myself. No more smash Rooney? No. That was part two. Now we're in part three. I find the presents, and then I hand them out to you. And that's part four. Yes, ma'am, part four. Now, where do you suppose those presents are? Come on, PM. We never did check this closet over here. Uh, right, Your Highness. Daughter, you're changing your clothes again. No, I'm looking for Santa Claus. Did you find him? No, that room is completely empty. Good. Maybe we can keep the sandwiches in here. Santa? Oh, Santa? Oops. There goes part two. How did she get out? We can put these sandwiches on the floor. Well, I lost one prisoner, but I've got two more. We'll put them in here and close the door. I'll close it for you. <laughs> ah, now that takes those two out of the way. Hmm. I can only find those presents. If I were a present, where would I be? Well, I guess Santa Claus is gone. That's too bad. I did so want to see him. Oh, hello there. Hi. Who are you? I'm uh, uh, Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer. Oh, have you seen Santa Claus? The last time I saw her, she went in that closet over there. Well, goodness gracious mercy me. I looked in there once, but I'll check again anyhow. Daughter! You're not Santa Claus. Of course I'm not Santa Claus. Santa Claus has a long white beard. And a great, huge reindeer. I know I'm looking for him. Let me take a second or four or five to tell you that the presents are beginning to arrive. Take care of those presents, PM. The sandwiches can wait. Right, Your Highness. I'll go check on the birthday cake. lost all the prisoners, but I'll still get the presents. Charlie! Uh, you got your gunny sack? Right here, ma'am. Then stand by. Here come the presents. The first three presents are from his royal benevolence, King Lespediza the Fourth. From his royal benevolence, good old Lespediza the Fourth. Oh, the king. First, a sterling silver, mother-of-pearl, sapphire-trimmed cuckoo clock. A sterling sapphire, mother-of-silver, pearl-trimmed cuckoo clock. A silver sapphire, mother-of-cuckoo, sterling clock-trimmed pearl. A solid gold ruby inlaid antique electric frying pan. A solid ruby gold panning inlaid electric fried antique. A gold on polished setting and leaking antique trick fried ruble. A diamond encrusted hand cut crystal delicately fashioned Italian burbell. A diamond cut crusty crystal birdie fashionable Italian hand bath. It's yours, Charlie. A bird headed, delicately dashing bath cut diamond hand encrusted Italian. Very nicely done, Charlie. Thank you. Uh, princess, what, what happened to the presents? Hmm? Oh, eh, I put them away. Oh, very good, your loveliness. Uh, the rest will arrive shortly. Fine, fine. We'll be ready for them, won't we, Charlie? Oh, yes, ma'am. Watch it. Here comes the princess. Oh, now, where'd I put that prime minister's hat? Ah, here we go. The prime minister said I put the presents away in here. I don't remember putting the presents away in here. Did you see me put the presents away in here? Uh, did I? Yes! Uh, you put them in that storage closet over there. I don't 
much remember. Now, wait a minute. Who are you? Who am I? Eh, well, I'm, I'm the Prime Minister, of course. No, you're not. I just talked to the Prime Minister a minute ago. Oh. Uh, are you sure? Quite most certainly unmistakably sure. Well, in that case, I'm the lovely Princess Gwendolinda. Oh, no. I am she. I always have been. Well, to be perfectly truthful, I am Tamanoa Grinderfall, which is which of them all? The one you didn't invite to your ball, and now you're gonna regret it. Charlie, grab her. Got her. My goodness gracious mercy me, a real life witch. You're not just whistling green sleeves, honey. Glangle, pang, oogie, nook, nook, froofle, poodle, boop. <laughs> you can let go of her now, Charlie. Ooh, what did you do to her, ma'am? Just throws her solid, that's all. She can't move a muscle until she hears the words that break the spell. And nobody will use those words. Why? What are the words? I'll have to whisper so as not to break the spell. And they go, my uncle was bouncing through the ice cream on his pogo stick. My uncle was bouncing through the ice cream on Quiet, his... Quiet, blabbermouth. You'll break the spell. Oh, here comes somebody. I better hide. In the closet. Daughter, the guest will be here in ten minutes. Stay right here till I get back. Boy, that was close. Luckily, that closet used to be a powder room, and there was a little powder left. With this, I'll make the princess look like a marble statue. <laughs> oh, oh, here comes the king again. Into the closet. Daughter. Oops. What's this? Bonjour, monsieur. You like my work, no? Who are you? I am Pierre, the greatest sculptor in Tinkerdy. I have just completed this marble statue of your daughter, which I give to you in honor of her birthday. It's lovely. Looks just like her. I've titled it Spellbound. PM, come in here. I want you to see this. It's lovely, sir. Now, where's my daughter? She ought to see this, too. Your daughter? Yes, where is she? Eh, uh, just a minute. You called father, whoops! You called father, dear? Yes, look at this beautiful statue, my dear. My goodness, it looks just like me. It looks more like you than you do yourself. You know, P.M., this reminds me of the last party I gave. It was an ice cream party for my uncle. Mm, ice cream? Yes, and he insisted on bringing his pogo stick. He did. Yes, sir, I can still see it. When my uncle got on that pogo stick... Uh, shouldn't the guests be arriving soon? All that ice cream was laying around on the floor. And uh, do know. we all know the words to happy birthday? Well, sir, my uncle was bouncing through the ice cream on his pogo stick and... Well, I tried. Look. The statue, Your Highness, is coming to life. Good nights to the round table. Oh, where am I? Witchcraft. That's what it is. She's a witch. No, I'm not. I'm the Princess Gwendolinda, and she's a witch. Oh, no. I'm the princess. She's the witch. One of you isn't telling the truth, but I can't tell which is the princess and which is which. Sire, there is an old Tinker D saying. Hit a witch in the face with a custard pie. And lightning will strike. P.M., bring two pies. Eh, it, it won't work. It's an old wives' tale. Why, I heard it from an old wife just the other day. Well, we'll see. Here's one pie, sire. Use it, P.M. But, Daddy, you wouldn't. But, Daddy, you did. Wow-wee! Did you see that? See what? That lightning. P.M., do you see anything? Nothing, Your Grace. Get another pie. Uh, yeah, but I'm, I'm sure I saw something. Maybe a spark? Uh, here's the other pie. But, Your Highness! Your Highness, did you see that? Even I saw that. I can't see a thing. Your Highness? This is Tamanella Grinderfall. Which is which of them all? The one you didn't in my dear bull. I could have told you that. Bah. Witch, you know what I'm gonna do to you? What? I'm gonna take you and I'm gonna throw you into the deepest, darkest dungeon in the whole cotton-picking kingdom. 
What do you think of that? Oh, no. Not the old bread and water bit. Certainly not. Peanut butter sandwiches. You can go home as soon as you've eaten all 67,000 of them. Yuck! Sire, the guests have arrived. Let the party begin. And so the witch was overthrown. She cried and screamed and muttered. But to this day in a dungeon cold, she's caged and peanut buttered. Caged and peanut buttered. The castle now is filled with joy. I bid farewell to thee. Until the next time I resume my tale of Tinker Dee. The tale of Tinker Dee. La ta la la ta 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 la 